Yo, what up, what up, fam? My name is Wolser. Welcome to the canal, aka channel, where I'll talk about all things food deliveries, Uber Eats, and DoorDash in the house or in my phone, actually. Uh, I hustle these apps every day, trying to make as much money as possible, and then let it take me on these crazy adventures. And put me in these weird situations and then document all that and upload it so y'all can see <laughs> raw unedited uncut I just added it to my description I need to give a little description oh look all the lights are red up ahead oh let me see if I can take a picture of that ah oh, one turn green that would have been sick if I caught them all red still a dope pic still looks sick anyway yeah, so I like to come out here and document all the craziness that happens in Los Angeles and everything else in its surroundings. So welcome everybody. It's uh, 7 in the morning, 7.06. And I'm about to get these apps started. Um, yesterday I came out for a dinner rush. Today I'm going to be out early. Trying to make money because uh, I'm at mile 566 and I am due for oral change at 600 miles. It's a brand new ADV 160 2024. I should have just waited a little bit and got the 2025, the all black one, but I needed a scooter to keep working. My Zoom was still getting fixed. I said, By the way, I gotta go leave a payment. Man, that, that zoom was gonna cost me a thousand dollars to get fixed up to 1200. Just gotta rebuild the engine, the crankshaft, or whatever. It's crazy. I mean, either this guy, Carlos, man, that guy is really good. Is he heard it? He's like, All right, I already know where it is. Like, that must come through that comes through decades of experience. I could stare at that thing for days and I still won't know what the hell is wrong with it. Anyways, guys, it's going to be a good day. It's Thursday. I'm about to turn these apps on. Let's see what we can score out here. See if we can get us a nice $300. Well, I might lose some time on the oil change, but hopefully not too much time. It's all up there in Glendale. Hopefully I can get be in and out in there and maybe lose an hour or two. But yeah, let's get this money. As you guys can see, I have my carpet right off my GPS navigator. Just because um, I have one issue with it. It works fine, except for one thing that keeps happening and it gets kind of annoying. Uh, the uh, notification sounds go away. Like I just don't know why, for some reason, when I come and pair up, there's times where just the, the notification sounds do not go through anymore like the media notifications or some one something like that doesn't work like I can't hear anything that comes out of the carpet right because the carpet right gets everything from the phone and, and it's supposed to push out the sound from the carpet right I don't get sound directly from the phone so it goes from phone to carpet right carpet right to helmet to helmet uh speakers but for some reason yeah just sometimes it just doesn't work and it's hard to get it programmed again i gotta like uh pair everything pair everything again or i just don't know what's wrong and i don't know how to fix it but it gets frustrating because it really does take time to set it up it's like 10 minutes but to do that shit every other day it's kind of annoying right now i just have it off I'll do it later. I don't want to just sit there trying to figure it out. Cause last time I did it, no, I, it took me longer. It was like 30 minutes before I finally got it set up. I'm gonna hit a copper right. I'm like, hey, what's up, man? Anyway, uh, let's go see what's going on here. Look, we already got a tow truck. Oh, you know what? The 16 wheeler probably got stuck. 18 wheeler. That's pretty sure what that's what happened. This guy got stuck right here. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, he got stuck, son. They're trying to pull his ass out. What the hell are you driving in there for? Is that a loading dock? Probably. 
so she told me five minutes and so I just came to the I, I well one of my pickles was LA cafe and then juice crafters the second so first one was uh not ready she said five minutes and then I get an offer for twelve dollars for uh Uber Eats now nah, these the the two deliveries the last ones are kind of far apart but it looks like I could do it hello thank you you too all right so uh, this one was ready I gotta go to Wake and Lake pick up there so 29 bucks just right off the bat more see that's why mornings are really good to come out there's not many people and yeah you could do a bunch of little runs and stack up slowly works out it's worth it I tell myself to do it more often but it ain't easy but definitely once it be like the days that I've come out like at 7 in the morning I make my $300 and I still get sometimes I get to go home early like at 7 sun's still out feels great all right so the delivery the pickup was confirmed I had to so now I gotta double time I gotta push push through This is going to be a tricky one. I think I know what to do. Do DoorDash first, Uber, and then DoorDash. I was going to do DoorDash, DoorDash, then Uber. But due to time constraints, yeah, I'm going to have to switch it up a bit. This is right off the freeway. So then I could do that one and I just head south. On Western doesn't look it wouldn't appear too much to the customer that I'm going off route I'm just yeah taking a different route that it's giving me so sometimes yeah there's certain reasons why uh, I don't take deliveries well one is they don't line up for sure I don't take one if it's going the opposite direction like if I have a delivery going east I won't get one that's going west but for this one my second DoorDash delivery is going uh, west, right? Just straight west. And then this delivery is going northwest. So I kind of have to go north. So it kind of looks, it'll look a little peer to the customer that, like, where the hell is he going? But since I'm going to take the highway, it won't look too crazy. It'll look like it's part of the route. So I like taking deliveries where the, the story makes sense for the customer. If it's too crazy, they might be like, what the hell is this guy doing? And that could really lead to a bad rating. So I try to avoid those deliveries where they line up in, in a way that the story doesn't make sense. Uh, navigating wise, like how I'm, the route I'm taking. I hope that makes sense, but I want to be able to choose them where all of them kind of line up. And they tell a story that I am in route, not being all crazy and like looking like I'm lost. I stopped telling my customers I'm doing another delivery because people sometimes pay for priority, and if you tell them that they have you have another delivery, it, they get some upset. So I just stopped telling them that. I just tell them I'm on my way, or if they say anything, hey, what's taking so long, which is rare. But it happens. I just don't even explain shit to him. I just tell him I'm on my way and then I'll give him a time that it's gonna take me. That's it. That's all they gotta know. Alright, let's hope this is ready now. I'll let five minutes go by. Yeah, I still gotta do one delivery in downtown LA. Hi, I pick up for uh not ready. 
Oh, what's up, bro? I was just watching your YouTube. Yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> How you doing? Uh, good. Good. You getting early? You getting started early, huh? Uh, Do you usually start at this time? Yeah? I gotta start doing it. I like the very little to no traffic. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I know some people like doing the dinner hours, and I'll stop and do it, but I think the traffic is awful. Yeah, it does suck. And you're on an e bike. Yeah. <laughs> that's I funny. Know. Still had me waiting here. Oh man, that's the worst place this delivery could be at. All right, this is gonna be. I kind of put myself in a bad spot. So this one's going south, the other one's going west, and the other one needs to go northwest. So, and then the Uber Eats one, I already kind of had it waiting for a while, so. Ooh, it's not gonna it's not gonna tell a good story because the customer the two DoorDash ones are like basically next to each other but kind of far the, the Uber Eats one is way up north way up north so I have to do this one first this this one that had me freaking waiting at least meet me outside no, let's just leave that door, but I think it may be a business. Alright, let's go. Alright, so I did my first delivery. And, um... It was at the courtroom. I'm like, this address looks so familiar. But I can't make out what it was. Then when I pull up... It was a goddamn metropolitan courthouse my second home for a while not because i worked there but i just kept going in that motherfucker because all the tickets that i used to get all the trouble that i used to get into i've gotten every violation you can think of every moving infraction in the book spending thousands of dollars on on just tickets it was sad it was just sad this is kind of one of the reasons why i was like man F driving I was really like man this car is just costing me money and it's just getting me into trouble like I really need to just not drive and that's what I eventually did I just stopped driving so I have a choice to make either I go through the Uber Eats delivery which I've been waiting on that's been waiting on me and then go through the western one yeah that shit honestly that that's the best thing I could do because I got 22 minutes no no i got more than that i got 18 i have 26 minutes to deliver the other one i won't even need that much time the doordash one so let's do it uber eats the decision has been made let's go i'm gonna put this bad boy to the test right now skills and everything it's not even that bad honestly like it says 14 minutes here but I already know it gives me that time because of traffic and mind you it's early so all that rush hour traffic it is on right now everyone's trying to get their asses to work like here god damn it all right here we go we go lane split action right here on the 110 north to the 101 north a little transfer here it goes underneath the highway and back up there's usually traffic on this turn oh it's, so, it's slanted too it's such an awkward slope on this highway here like sloped but it's running slow it's meant for high for cars to come through it at high speeds that's why it's sloped up like that kind of like a nascar track but when you're going kind of slow it's like weird on two wheels it's awkward but success successfully cut through and then the the, the freeway just kind of once everybody merges it kind of starts speeding up but for a while it's uh it's like this little bottleneck 
Ooh, all right, we made it through. So where the hell are we getting off? It got off on Silver Lake. That's still way up ahead. So far, I'm doing good on time, kind of. It's uh, 7.48. I was supposed to be at this place at 8 o'clock. This is a DoorDash one. I'm doing the Uber Eats one first. So we're going to have a little race against time right now. But once I uh, get to Uber Eats, I'll, I'll hit direction so I can know approximately how long Uber Eats, I mean, Google Maps thinks I'm going to take. And it's typically like 50% faster. Fuck you with me. getting off real soon got a couple uh, a couple different estimates it says uh, anywhere between 17 to 21 minutes shit no way I can take that long so uh, it's 7.55 I have to be there in 5 minutes uh, DoorDash pushes the clock to nine minutes after before they give you a contract violation so the latest i could be there is 809 that is in exactly 14 minutes is that correct yeah 14 minutes here it says i'll be there in 18 minutes yeah i'll do it what route is it trying to make me take yeah i'm good I'll make it. <clears throat> I have seven minutes left and GPS says I need. I have eight minutes. I'll be there in eight minutes. So there's a one minute discrepancy there. And I got to make up for it somehow. And it ain't going to be going through that traffic up ahead. I'm going to have to make a left somewhere. Lane splitting. Here we go, baby. Still got to make a left somewhere. Oh. Oh, that was such a tight spot. Western, where are you at? Oh, Western, that's it. Right there. Let's make a left right now. This is the best way to get up in the morning. Let's go dance around between cars, baby. Smack this guy's back. Six minutes, yeah. Oh, I've still, I still got that one minute discrepancy. <laughs> and I still gotta go in the lobby, leave it on the table, and take a pic and, and upload it. I might not do that though. If I have to, if I have to, I'm just gonna put hand to customer. Which is might save me a little bit of time. Oh. Oh, I love the acceleration on this. Ooh. Minute away. But these lights are gonna mess me up. Yeah, I'll make it. I'm uh, This is what I'm gonna do, guys. So this is a little game. When you're late and you're like down to the last minute and you cannot leave it at the door because you know it takes time. And what you do is you call the customer. You hit call and you just hang up, just so you can have the number registered on your on your recent calls. So what you could do is you can get to the property and just put hand it to me, right? Just so you can close the the delivery. Then you can just call them and tell them, hey, uh, I uh, left it here. You can just give them instructions on where the food is at. Make sure you screenshot the instructions in case you actually have to go up to the unit and all that. This just buys you a few minutes and you don't get a contract violation. Like me, I'm at 807. I literally in one minute 
two minutes tops but I have to deliver it so I'm gonna have to do my little strategy right now like I said it just buys you more time you could call a customer and just tell them we're at all that play 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 I already screenshot it I already got the number registered I did all those steps already so yep hi right, guys let's do it Da -na -na, da -na -na, na -na. all right where is it where is it it's right here oh it's like a business got it delivery no contract violation look what time it is i was, I was even i was even able to take a picture it is 809 on the dot bro <laughs> that is straight skills Woo, down to the minute look i still got a few seconds to spare it's about to hit 810 right now 810 contract violation oh man i kind of ran up those stairs too 810 beautiful beautiful didn't break any laws We did the damn thing. All right, guys, let's keep moving. Let's go back to DTLA. Uber Eats, let me turn it on. I turned it off. I don't want any distractions. I wanted to concentrate. Homeboy is visible. It's on his electric scooter. He's got the, the, the reflector vest. That's good. Very, very bright. He's got the flashing red light and the white light on the helmet. Dope. And he's got the two flashing lights near the wheel, rear wheel. Boom. He's got shin guards. Yep. He's ready. <laughs> he's ready for that commute to work. But I got a double for like 12 bucks. Dash mark. Let's see what you guys are gonna make me carry. All right, some medicine. Someone got sick. What else? And then, oh, we got three sparkly water bottles, but no packs, just individuals. So, cake. That's easy. Is that the Honda Rebel? Yup, that's the that's the 500. Cool. All right, y'all. I think I got room for one more delivery. Then your boy gonna go up to Honda. And, uh, oh, I got another one. All right, I'll do two more. And then I'm gonna go up to Honda and uh, do my tune-up. Get some new grease on this bad boy. All right, let's organize these drinks. So first one only has one drink. Bam. Second one is two drinks. It's this one. Uno. Those. Wham. All right, let's go. I'm gonna call Honda after these two deliveries and see if I can take it up there. I sh it's a good idea, right? A call before going just pull up they're gonna be like fully booked so I'm gonna ask them what time I could take it and then we roll out I gotta make a left here bro I have no gas well I don't know how long it's been on one bar but so far I've only filled up my, my gas tank twice. Right? Twice? Or three times? I think three times. I should go fill it up again, man, because I don't know. <laughs> you can't, don't let it run out because you can mess your uh, engine up. Well, not the engine, there's some things yeah, that get messed up. 
So I'm gonna hit up the first gas station I see and rehydrate my scooter. Where is there a gas station? All right, y'all, it's 9.06 and I'm about to take a quick break so I can take this bad boy scooter right here ADB 160 to go get its first tune up or oro changer whatever you gotta do at the first 600 miles oh yeah I gotta put gas first before I forget again I do not, not want to get stuck and even worse mess up something in the engine or just mess anything up alright gas oh I know where there's one I gotta make a right right there shell so it still had plenty of fuel in there uh, I put uh, eight 1.6 gallons in eight dollars and 23 cents now we are at a full tank let's see we are at 590 miles and let's see how far this place is it's 8.5 miles gonna be right under 600 what the 1.5 miles right under 600 <laughs> i should drive around for a little bit huh since i can get there exactly at 600 shit i'm gonna impress the mechanic like damn bro you on point i'm like i know i ain't trying to avoid the warranty <laughs> this is like freeway street cleaning or freeway cleaning yeah look check it out they're cleaning the the side of the freeway makes sense it must be a bunch of debris that they clean up probably roadkill too it's pretty cool i don't think i've ever seen that or at least i've never paid attention to that all right we're gonna get off we're already here Woo! tune up time after this, I can be. I'm gonna be able to push this thing. Well, I'm gonna ask. What can I? Uh, what can I? Can I not do? Can I pop wheelies now? What's up? What can I do? On the service, baby. Rang the doorbell. About to get this baby fixed. Not fixed. Not broken. But y'all know what I mean. How did this adhesive end up here? But stepped on it all right so the oil change has been done now I gotta reset the oh man I gotta reset the oil indicator so I gotta hold these two buttons here on the off and then turn it on so this should start blinking okay it's blinking okay now that it's reset all right boom done it reset so now How do I check how much is remaining? So that's it. I reset it. So now at the 4,000 mile mark, it's going to uh, tell me again to do oil change. So it's at 4,000 increments, mile increments. Man, 4,000 miles is a lot. So I think I'm good now because it's not showing oil change anymore. think I am good yep it doesn't say oil change anymore it was it used to say oil change at 600 but I got rid of that cool I think I'm done I'm good now we can go full throttle on this baby I put my gloves on um, face shield and just put my receipts away and all that <laughs> And we're good to go got the ordinance manual how to read it real quick for what i had to do through the receipts in here and tonight I'll, i'm gonna fill out the uh, all the notes so i can keep track of all the maintenance all right y'all i gotta put this under my 
in my uh, trunk, I guess. Look, I did want to show you guys the backpack that I brought. So, so one of the things, uh, if I ever get full of stuff that I, can't, I don't have room to carry, I'm going to move my backpack to the rack like that, strap it on. And then I'm going to get, I'm going to take out this backpack. I have a backpack in here that I could put on and put stuff in here and I could just wear it. I don't even know where I, how I got this backpack, but yeah, we're going to test it out. If it works, then I'll carry it on, carry it with me. If not, then find another solution. Is there not enough room here? There we go. All right, she's good. Let's do a speed check. Speed check, baby. This is downhill too, so let's see, I'm at 70 miles an hour. We're redlining though. So about 70 miles an hour, 69. Uh oh, uh oh. Traffic is slowing down. Alright, well that was a good first test. I was redlining though. I was at uh, like 9,700, 9,500 RPM. It was already in the red area. So not a place that I want, not a, uh, a speed that I want to be riding in. We're trying to take care of this one. Like I said earlier, if I can coast, if I can chill without redlining like at 65 miles an hour, 60 65 miles an hour it's cool i would travel long distances in that speed playing it safe i'm not overworking the engine and uh that can uh guarantee me or at least increase my chances for the longevity of this engine so it could last me at least a year because i'm i am going to put a lot of miles in a year after that i'll probably just get a new scooter and sell this one that's just the plan. Maybe. Maybe I might just keep it. Who knows? I might get that 2025 all black. ADV 160, baby. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see. But uh, yeah, so I mean, now that I got this engine, uh, this oil change, checked all the fluids and everything, my boy Brian had it ready in an hour. I just chilled across the street. McDonald's got me no sweet and tea. I posted up a few reels, responded to some comments, and the time went by quick. Before he knew it, he called me and it was ready. I paid about, it was like 75 bucks for the oil change. Now I'm gonna look into just doing it myself from now on. I just wanted to come to this first one. I just, I feel better about it, you know? So now I got up until the 4,000 mile mark. It is gonna remind me on here with the indicator. And then I'll start uh, doing the oil changes myself and checking everything else. I, I think from what I read, it's oil change every 4,000, spark plug every 8,000, and everything else I could just kind of inspect and make sure it's good, check the fluids and all that. And uh, yeah, I'll be good. But now I don't have to ride it cautiously. I can, I can push this little engine a little bit whenever I need to like acceleration and little stuff like that obviously not go too hard on it well yeah i'll give you guys a good acceleration test later on Woo, but it's 11 o'clock it's about to be lunch rush let's go make some money couple for 15 not the best set of deliveries considering it's going all the way to the city of Vernon. But some money better than no money. Let's just get it done. It was it was DoorDash. I just took it. Mendocino Farm first pickup. Alright y'all, so I got the double for 15 and I just got a triple for 21 bucks. Can I pull it off? Shit. We about to find out. This is going to be a tough one. 
only because I got the DoorDash ones and those have a time limit and I'm about to pick up the DoorDash one and these guys make me confirm the pickup so I can't even like not even wait till the till I get to my scooter to confirm it the clock starts right now so we'll see we'll see what I can do right now go stand all right so where is the Uber Eats pickups tender greens cool they might be delayed it is lunchtime they usually have a stack of people waiting if that's the case I'm gonna have to cancel those two you go kitchens on Spring Street hmm it'll probably be a good idea to pick that one up first and then go to tender greens I'll see I might have to cancel the tender greens ones because I'm telling you guys they're gonna have a wait time for sure what about here too a wait time thank you thank you man <laughs> all right let's go this is my boy pelon right here he's still he's still about the crank up so he's still doing it on the bike the what like pull it out the battery bank that battery bank Fucking massive from Samsung. Samsung? Uh, it's like the new one they came up with. Oh, okay. You got the fast charger too? Sick. Charges are for like twice 100%. Oh, dope. Do you get two cycles out of it? Uh, Dang, you got the slick tires too. Bro, I miss riding. I miss doing deliveries on a bike. Once you start doing those, like, those hill orders, I got a couple of times with the sweater too, bro. Uh, <laughs> I get that a lot of people are like, oh, you know, you're riding the bike in this weather and, and the sweater. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, in a way, you like to wear just like a regular tee. Yeah. Like, you know, it's, uh, I don't know. I feel more comfortable with the sweater on. It's cool though, because you sweat it out and then the breeze feels good. It's like, it's, you know, like, um, that's what sweat is for. It's to cool off your body. Yeah, like once I take out the sweater, I feel so light as well. I bet. But it kind of looks wrong delivering in a muscle set to be honest with you. Even me, bro, when I get like little sweat in my longitas, huh. when I stretch out, I feel that little breeze, bro. Good, huh? I got both of them already, but this took a while, so I'm just gonna cancel the other one because I am already kind of behind. I was chilling with Balon here. That's the first time I meet him. I always seen him around, you know, he's one of the few riders hustlers are still doing deliveries on a bike he's making it work and we're just kind of chopping it up talking a little bit and then the time went by fast it's been already like uh 10 minutes no not 10 minutes uh less than that like seven minutes so i'm just gonna start doing these drops oh shit yuko kitchen yeah this is the one i'm gonna have to cancel Man, should I, I should just go for it. I don't even have space in the bag either. I'm about to get the backpack out. It's just one item too. It's a Teraki rice bowl. Uh, should I do it? Should I do it? I might as well. Huh? Let's see how much time I have on the DoorDash. I have 11.55. Another one is in City and Vernon. I just got to make a left pick up. Make a right. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. We'll pick it up. But yeah, uh, homie was telling me that his Samsung battery, he's getting like two full life cycles out of it. It's pretty dope. And uh, he's got a single speed. I didn't realize that. I looked at it because it we were talking about this hill right there in Chinatown. And it's very steep. And I used to go, I used to zigzag up that thing. But remember, my hybrid has gears. So you can kind of bring it down to the setting that's meant to go up hills. And it makes it a little bit easier, but it's still tough. Homie doesn't have the gear, so he's got single speed. So to go up that hill, it's very tough. Uh, most of the time, you're probably just going to have to walk it. Because of how steep the hill is. But yeah, good, good to see... Uh, my boy out here grinding on the bike man kind of makes me to want to come out here at least one day and just do a full day on the hybrid i'll probably do that on a slow day just do a few deliveries here and there because i still got my cannon though that thing is still solid 
shit left here left here let's, let's go pick this up it's one block from here and then just grab it and uh start doing these uh drop offs 21 plus 15 this is 36 dollars right here with this stack got it it's just a bowl let just stack her on top all right we got five deliveries i miss these days i miss stacking up five orders at a time six seven remember those days shit pandemic days i'll be having six seven orders at one time with a smaller bag the p the the 92 the pk 92 the by 92 set pro that shit would put in work top load it's kind of like the one pelon had I, I got i forgot to ask him which bag he has but he's got a top load all right first delivery is going to be uber eats on alameda it's an apartment god damn it please text me when you're in the lobby all right perfect they're gonna meet me saves time i think it's at the row yeah it is dang you gotta drive in the property sometimes it takes time God damn. people just jaywalk man npcs like another one three jaywalkers in uh and then these two blocks that i just passed it's gonna be pretty intense i have to do the first uber eats deliveries and then the doordash one it, i have to do it in that order just because of where they're at so i gotta hustle up these uh deliveries and, and then by the fourth delivery which is due in about under 20 minutes so i gotta do three deliveries and be at the fourth in like basically like 17 minutes that's cutthroat i'm gonna have to be very precise and like literally waste no seconds so like right now i'm gonna call my customer and tell them that hey i'm gonna be there in like one minute so they could be waiting i'm gonna do that right now gave me i kept asking her where is it she just gives me the number of the building 757 this is the this is 757 look how big this building is I'm like, okay, where in the building? And then she just responds 757 again. I'm like, is there any business or anything? Finally, she tells me this bakery. I'm like, cool, that's all I needed. Boom. Then I got security guard on my ass. Hey, you can't, uh, you can't drive through here. Like, there's no vehicles allowed. Like, I know that, bro. The only reason I got his attention because I kept going back and forth. Otherwise, he probably wouldn't have just like said anything. All right. Anyway, I got a uh, this delivery, and then I'm gonna go straight to the DoorDash one. I'm gonna save the third uh, Uber Eats one till after. Here's another one. This customer, I require a pin, so that means I actually have to hand it to her. And she's saying to leave it for somebody so i got a call the last customer wouldn't answer man it was so frustrating they didn't even come out they were just sitting in the lobby like come out and leave try to look for me Jeez. hi this is william uh, i got a food delivery i should be there in like one minute okay cool there is a pin uh can you just text it to me Yeah, just text it to me. Thank you. Bye. -bye. All right, she didn't even know she had a pin. I'm so glad I told her because it's not even for her. She's buying, she's like, she was like telling me like to hand it off or give it to somebody or some something like that. So by the time I get there, the pin should be there. Plug it in and boom, next next stop. Next stop is DoorDash. I got about 11 minutes to get to this DoorDash delivery. $5 tip, baby. Shit. Hell yeah. 
thank you she went to her car and grabbed the the tip but I have to go and do this DoorDash delivery first then I'll go to this Uber Eats one. Oh yeah, I gotta get there ASAP. I got five minutes. Uh, hand it to me. So let me screenshot this. Let me register the number. Let me call. Hang up. And then let me tell my customer that I'm gonna be there in like three minutes. I'll just uh, I'll just tell her be there soon. All right, all right, we're all set up. We know where we gotta go. Yeah, we got the navigation on. Let's go. And it's cool to register the number in your call history because they might just call you back. And if, if they do, that's even perfect because that's even better because they could just tell them, hey, I'll be there like in two minutes. Where are you going to be? Or what are you wearing? Not in a sexual way, but so I can uh, find you. Y'all know what I mean. Wait, what the hell? Why is it telling me to go that way? Oh, it's giving me a, an address. It's giving me directions to an old address. Hate when Google does that. Come on, people. Four, four minutes, five minutes. You're like cutting through this gas station right here. I'm gonna have to, cause these, these, these people are not gonna make it in this light cycle. Yep. All right, let's go, guys. All right, perfect. The customer was waiting outside. The this is a, this was also um, purchased from somebody to somebody else. So I made it on time. The latest was 12:05. I delivered at 12:03. Now I'm gonna do the Uber Eats one, and then the, the last DoorDash delivery. Woo! We hustling today. Yeah, like I was saying, the, this last one, the address was for that entire building. The good thing is that the customer sent me, like when I told her I was going to be there like in a few minutes or be there soon, she sent me pictures of the building, of where to go. That helped out so much because then I knew exactly what I had to look for. I had to look for some yellow paint and on the wall and picnic tables. So I was on one side, I didn't see it, so I quickly just went around. And then when I went around, I saw somebody in the front and coincidentally it was for him so it worked out all right now we gotta do a delivery to the second floor somewhere on santa fe so that means i gotta make a left here Customer might have been a little upset because I went around the block. <laughs> she gave me that little vibe like, you inconvenienced me a couple minutes. Whoops. All right, last delivery. I got until 12.15. It is 12.07. I got more than enough time. Now I can relax a little bit. Cause I was straight hustle mode back there. I guess you could say mission accomplished. 30, 36 dollars in the bag. That's what I was talking. About. That's what I mean by lunch rush. I miss those. What happened to those? Parking in Forster across the street. He's not in there though. He's probably walking around giving tickets. I did a quick $10 McDonald's delivery in this uh, building here. It's getting hot, man. 89 degrees. It's getting there. 725 plus. Yeah. I want to show you guys a little bit of the acceleration. Oh, look, an all white cyber truck. Check it out, I'm doing like 15, 17 miles an hour. I don't know if you guys can see the speedometer. 
18 and then let's say I want to take off, right? Ooh. It's uh, perfect to get out of like little spots where you're kind of in a like if you're lane splitting, cars are gonna merge or whatever, just zoom. Or where you want where you wanna get out of any 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 tight spot that you need to, you know, just eject yourself from. The acceleration is great for that. I've been loving it. 15 daw hairs. Alright, let's do it. All to the city of Vernon again. For sure. So I got a seven dollar one and then uh a fifteen dollar one. Picking up one here, California Chicken Cafe, and then the second one at Pine and Crane. Oh look homie got the ADV too. Nice. So this delivery, this pickup that I just scooped up has eight items, and it was a seven dollar plus, meaning that your boy gonna get paid more. And since it's a pretty big order, and price, uh, and you know the items on here aren't the cheapest, there might be a nice tip in there. I'm guessing it's gonna be like fifteen bucks in total. I don't know how much the tip is going to be. Maybe like $13, $12. It's a guess. I don't know. I could be wrong. It could just be $7.50 or $7.75. Guys, what I say? Base pay $3.25. Tip $12.77. I was like almost spot on, right? Hell yeah, I don't even know how much I have. Damn, I'm gonna have to decline this one. And it's a good order too. Oh well. I'm at 77% acceptance rate. I am dropping low. I cannot get below 70%. This is chaos. I'm so close to this delivery. And I gotta deal with this shit. Ooh, see what I'm saying? That little acceleration? Wild. Uh oh, some went down right here. That's why there's traffic. What happened? Homeboy did too much drugs. Got City of Vernon police on that. Alright, I got a food delivery. And uh, one thing about this delivery is that they got the title food critic like that's under that's in the name And I'm like, you know what? That's actually Pretty clever if they're doing what I think they're doing So one thing is one it could actually be a food critic, right? Or just someone just posing as a food critic What would that do? <laughs> what, what would you do if you're working at a restaurant and one day you're like making orders like you normally do them and then one day boom you get an order that says it's for a food critic what are you gonna do you probably treat the food a little bit differently maybe maybe you do it with a little bit more love most of us probably won't even give a shit right either way you're like wait wait a minute oh shit maybe you just be a little extra careful which I think that's it's hilarious, but if it is a food critic, then I guess I'm about to deliver some food for a food critic. On another note, I just talked to my boy J Mouse and uh, he showed me a link to a video on how to fix a carpool ride issue, which I'm about to do right now, son. It's actually a quick fix. So instead of making this the carpool ride the middleman for audio, I just connect my phone directly to my helmet. Sounds pretty straightforward, right? Well, I've been doing it wrong this whole time. Our discover list. 
Let me just pair my uh, phone first. I think, is it paired? I think it's paired. All right, let's go. I got a delivery. Oh, by the way, this delivery is $27. It just might be a food critic, huh? $27 hairs. I guess I'll, I might, I should do this later. I'm about to jump on the highway. Oh man, look at all that traffic. Never mind. We're taking the streets. That way I can work on this, uh, this uh, issue too. Fix this problem. All right, let me get situated here, guys. And then uh, I'll let you guys know I'm going to fix this. Okay, so I have everything paired up like I normally have it. My phone to the copyright, right, copyright right to my my helmet helmet to phone so this is what you gotta do go to settings oh no no my bad you go to audio output you get a iplay auto and you will switch to yes you want to a a a auto is connected you the switch will temporarily disconnect do you want yes so you temporarily disconnect it all right what the hell happened that was not supposed to happen you're supposed to delete something. I might have missed a step. <laughs> Let's try this again. Wham. All right. What the hell is that noise? I think stuff moved around in here. Please use your phone to connect headphones. Oh, okay. Bam. All right, that's done. So it asked me to connect, please use your phone to connect to headphones. All right, I did that already. Now what? Dun, dun, dun. I have no idea. Yes, baby, it worked. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just gonna have to put the link of that video I watched because I'm pretty terrible at explaining shit but what you do what you're basically doing is you're, you're eliminating carpet ride to be the the source of your audio you want to just revert it back to just your phone so you go to audio output it's usually on Bluetooth transmitter right but you're going to switch this other one on top the iplay auto and it's going to say do you want a, something temporarily switch you hit yes bam it switches and then you just delete you delete your uh you delete your bluetooth that's saved on the carpet ride your helmet so i just deleted it and bam just like that my audio the it's, it's getting it's getting the uh navigation on the screen here see how it's getting the the navigation boom i don't use this for sound or anything just visual so now all my audio is coming out of my phone and i could control it i could control the volume right here so now all my cars will be clear and I will be now I'll be able to hear all the notifications on Uber and DoorDash here without a delay and uh, with no issues. J Mails, bro. My boy's been throwing all these resources and all these in info, all these tips towards me, man. It's they've been super helpful. Uh, hopefully I don't forget, but I'm gonna post the link to that video uh, for those of you that got the carpet ride and have audio issues like I was having. This fixed it. It legitimately fixed it. Now it's like perfect. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna drop off this pizza to this food critic. Crazy. All right, y'all. I just delivered to the food critic. Shit was thirty dollars for that order. My boy, if you want to be a food critic, you go ahead and be a food critic. All you want. For $30 for that delivery? Shit. You could be the president for all I care. Uh. I'm going to take a break. My phone's at 
I gotta let my phone cool down and juice her up. And I'll come back, work. It's 3.45, probably work for another three hours. Four hours, maybe. I gotta see how much, uh, how much I have, too. I used to come to the school. LA Trade Tech. It was pretty fun. I was studying <laughs> a bunch of shit. In class and outside, like I had my own interests. I was reading my own books outside of a uh, class that weren't even part of my 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 uh, the thing as I had to study. I was studying my own shit. Two years, it's pretty cool. I learned enough. Then I'm like, all right, that's, that's good enough. <laughs> dropped out, college dropout. So I'm down to 75% acceptance rate. That is really low, too low. It's not even, um, it's not, I'm not comfortable having it that low. So I'm gonna have to go on a little campaign here and accept all the deliveries. You know, the, the, I have missed a few, not because I, I like, I didn't wanna accept them. I, I just straight up missed them. Like I didn't hear it or, or uh, or I just missed, you know, I just missed accepting it. Some of them are just were really shitty though. But it's all good. I'm just going to accept all of them moving forward. I want to be able to get up to like 85 at least. So I could be like, it's a more comfortable number to be at. 75 is really low. We're taking a break. <laughs> I was going to pause it. I forgot and then the delivery came in. My acceptance rate is already low, so I just took it. I'm gonna end up somewhere by uh, East Hollywood, so once I'm there, I'm just gonna. Then I'll take my break. I think I'm around 200 bucks, which is a good number to be at at this time. I should have been there at three o'clock. It's 3:58, but it's still like not bad considering that I went to go get my oil change. So that that ate up some time. Ate up like an hour and a half to get there the hour away and then to come back I mean 30 uh, 50 minutes to come back all right I took a nice break here in uh, this Thai spot uh, has some beef I want all the beef huh Michael, yeah. Three bags. Three bags. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad I caught you. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, there's going to be some stuff missing, boy. I was, gonna, I was about to say, too, this is a $20 delivery right here. Just to have some stuff missing. Tip removed. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go south. 3.6 miles. Yeah, like I said, this was 20 bucks right here. I was like at 220 something. And but when I was took a break, I added the numbers up. This puts me at 247. Just gonna make a left in here. Alright, cool. Let's get this money, y'all. I'm gonna be doing this for like a six, seven, eight, nine. Probably an hour or two. I gotta go enjoy my night for a bit then look at that car's bumper is gone what he hit he probably hit a massive speed bump speed bump three feet high I got another banger here uh, El Cholo 20 something dot hi for pickups yeah all right thank you All right, man. I'm gonna try to get a 300 bucks. I'm at 268. I just need what 30, 32 dollars. That's it. Shit, I got two hours. I could probably get to three, 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 three. 333 dollars for 33 cents. 
I might have sent more, more than that, but it's looking good. Damn, we're going all the way down into the hood. <coughs> Whoops. My bad. God damn it. I hate recording and then I just sudden urge to sneeze. Oh, I got another banger from Uber Eats. Uber Eats coming through today. Finally. I was been asleep this whole time. But I got one for 22 bucks headed to DTLA. I think they're both from the cloud, uh, cloud kitchen here in USC. I remember a high speed pursuit ended right there. <laughs> in that cut, that parking lot with that little alley. I think that dude jumped out and ran. Well, they always do that, no? Unless they wrecked. Unless they wrecked real bad. <laughs> they got hurt and even then they'll still take off all the drugs they be doing shit they don't feel nothing all right here we are there's the cloud kitchen that i was telling you guys about they got their process down way better than when i when they first opened up when they first opened up it's kind of chaotic here but it's matured. I got two pickups here. One at K5 and the other one at K13. We got two right here. Pizza and Ava Frescas. That's it. I'm holding up traffic. Let's get out of here. Then one of them was literally just two drinks. Watermelon agua fresca shit that sounds good right now actually we're dropping off them peaks as first i just need 10 bucks to hit 300 so close damn i had my doordash app on and i got a, a request without even realizing it I'm down to 73% acceptance rate. Sheesh. So if I miss three more, I'll lose my platinum status. Alright, game plan, game plan. I'm not going to turn on DoorDash right now. <clears throat> it's really hard to get that acceptance rate back up. Really hard. Because it's based off your, it's, it's a revolving hundred, it's, it's the last revolving, so whatever, man, I'm going to try to explain it. I just got to accept everything from, the, from now on. I do not want to get any lower than 73. You know, the wild thing is that in some markets, they're already requiring 80% acceptance rate. I know for damn sure that's going to happen in Los Angeles eventually. I think they're doing that in San Diego already. Someone told me that in that market. So, and you have to schedule yourself. You can't dash now, which sucks because next time I go visit, there's a pretty, there's a, there's a chance that I won't even be able to dash now. I have to schedule myself, but hopefully I can schedule something at least the next day and just do like Uber Eats. Uh, on that day that I land because I cannot schedule myself here in this region because San Diego I won't even show up I have to actually be in the perimeter to be able to schedule DoorDash kind of like automatically switches your region or, or, or overall market and then you can schedule stuff around it not right now what the hell why was it giving me a different direction? Let me close. Oh, this motherfucker changed the address. Let me call. Let me call this person. The hell was I recording? Did I record the phone call? I think I did. Anyway, what was I saying? My, I was talking to my customer on the phone and he put the wrong address. 
but he updated it and ended up being on the opposite side of where uh, I actually had to go where I was actually headed so but he confirmed this correct one so we're good just gonna go drop that thing off what dude was cool gave me a seven dollar tip didn't I get a tip earlier I did damn boy cash tips coming in for sure Got like uh, twelve dollars in tips today, cash tips. All right, so <clears throat> thank you. I got a thirteen dollar panini order, and then I got an add-on for rosemary grill for seven. That's twenty bucks right there. That puts me at three ten. I'm basically at goal. I mean, my goal would be three thirty three, but. 310 is great so I've officially hit $300 it's been a while that I made 300 bucks in one day it feels good something's happening at the crypto arena probably a concert judging by the way people are dressed usually if it's a sporting event you see all the jerseys But people looking stylish. Gotta be a concert. Who's playing? Taylor Swift? What's going on? I'm trying to see t shirts. Sometimes the t shirts reveal. Or oh, the vendors too. The vendors be like gathering all their bootleg shirts of whatever artist is playing. Ooh, there it is. Out of what? I couldn't really catch it. Oh well, 23 bucks to hit go. That or just go home after this. What do y'all think? So I try to get on the curve right now. And I try to get the scooter up on the curve. I, gotta, I, I jumped the front tire successfully. And the back tire just slid. I couldn't get up. I failed. I had to back up and just park on the street. That was hilarious. I did it too much in an angle. And then earlier, earlier I tried to throw my foot off of the scooter, like throw it over to get off. And I tried to throw it over and I didn't make it all the way. So my foot got stuck and it slid back down slowly. I had, to, <laughs> I had to kick it over again. All these little, all these little fails with this scooter. So I'm not used to it yet. Also, sometimes I forget it's a, it's a bit step through. So I just try to like step off of it and my foot just gets caught. I'm like, what the hell is there? I'm thinking like I have like a 24 pack of waters or like a box of sodas or something that I forgot to hand to the customer. Then I'm like, oh yeah, um, yeah, this thing has a big ass gas tank there. All right, y'all, I am done for the day. I am uh, going to end up at around 310 with the tips. I'm like at 322. I could do another delivery. For like 10 bucks and get to my 333 but nah <laughs> I'm good I'm gonna go relax upload these videos stitch them up and then uh go out for a bit and then tomorrow do it all over again third uh 12 hours try to get uh, 30, 333 uh, this time so two things today got the oil change boom I'm good to 4,000 miles and also 
shout out to my boy J Mills sending for sending me that video on how to fix the audio issue with a carpool ride which is huge it's a huge deal for me because I won't have to have it audio issues anymore which is kind of stressing me out to the point where I wasn't even using the screen and I won't miss any any deliveries so in turn this is gonna make me more money and increase my acceptance rate and uh yeah it's just gonna and then there's that delay there's a pause sometimes i'll be on the phone and i'm connected to carpet right and it sounds like shit. and then it skips to my phone but there's like this awkward moment where it's just i can't hear anything and my customer is talking or or maybe whoever i'm talking to on the phone is talking and i can't hear anything so i'm like what so now it won't have that there won't be no in interruption because the phone's always going to be directly connected to my helmet to my Harman Kardon audio setup inside the helmet so it's another little upgrade another little improvement that I've made on the setup uh, I will make a setup video real soon uh, I kind of want to get the black panels my new bag and spray paint the rack and, uh, and I think with that I'll be pretty much done and then I'll go make a, a setup video where I break down everything. That video is going to be long. It's probably going to be like a 45 minutes to an hour. But that's, well, I'll try to chop it down, but it's because I will break everything down in detail. Because after, it's, it's already 19,000 deliveries since uh, in seven years, this is basically my ideal setup to make as much money as possible and be the most comfortable and be able to ride all day and be able to carry as much things as possible this is it if anything it's equipped to be for me to be like actually remote like to not even rely on having to go home because i could charge on my on my on my stuff under the seat so i can basically go from city to city to city and camp I could be homeless and make this happen. Uh, just because I could just I could just run off of this scooter, and yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll discuss more on that later on, pretty soon, hopefully within a week or two. I'm excited about that video. It's gonna be a, a very uh, informative. I'm gonna get a lot of game out of it, and if I get something wrong, I always learn a lot a lot of shit from you guys. So I'm grateful for you guys giving me your feedback on stuff. Uh, all right, guys. Well, that's it. That's going to wrap it up for today, July 11th. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Let's go to the DUI checkpoint. Woo, that's a bonus. Let's do it. <laughs> What DUI and driver's license checkpoint ahead? Oh shit. Oh shit, he's gonna make me go to the right. Oh man, I'm gonna take off. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'm gonna take off. Really? No! What's up, man? Who do you think is gonna win? I ain't Superman yet. <laughs> Where's the motorcycles at? I think they got somebody. Oh, I've really? Seen them in a while, yeah. Oh, okay. They were working, yeah. Sir. <laughs> hey, so I'm Sergeant Plum with the DI checkpoint. You're fairly busy, okay? Yeah. All right. Any drinking today? Nah. Any alcohol? Nothing. Any uh, marijuana you use? Prescription nope. medication? Nope. Okay. That's it. Hey, what's better? Because some people have it mounted right there. Some yeah. Some people have it here. Some people have it here. For you, does that work better? This is the best, yeah, because it's like point of view. This one's kind of awkward. Up uh, here, it looks weird. Okay. The chest one's always a good, a good one too. But, mm. the, but not if you have a full face helmet because it touches your chin. Got it. Okay. And yeah. you have to have some sort of like a harness to have it on your chest. Right? Yeah, I used so. to use a chest one, but now I use a full face helmet. So okay. this one works for this one. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right. Good night. Yeah. Good night, man. All right, let's bounce. Let's go get some beers. <laughs> Just kidding. DUI checkpoint, baby. Keeping the streets safe. <laughs> <laughs>